Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I have got planned a what I got my kids for Christmas video. Um, if I go a little quiet at some places then please understand that my kids are at home at the moment. <sighs> yeah. I'm not going to ramble on because I've got a lot to show you. I want to explain as well that I'm not going to show everything that I've got. I don't, I don't want to come across as like you know, you need to buy your kids this much. I explained to my kids as well that Santa brings some bits and bobs and mummy and daddy brings some bits and bobs too. Without further ado, I'm just going to show you what I got. So first thing I picked up was I picked them one of these things up each. It's like a fruity scent, Scruffalove. Scruffalove? Is that what you call them? Scruffaloves. And you wash these things and then you reveal what one you got and then you brush it and look after it. And I just thought it was a fun thing for the kids to um, do. I'll be probably doing it, but um, yeah, I just thought it was a fun little thing to do. You can get, with this one, I think you can get a piggy looking thing or a cat one or a dog. And this one smells like either strawberries, bananas or blueberries. So yeah. I think you get a collar with a tag as well, an adoption certificate, one comb and a hair clip. I got two of these but I'm only going to show you one because it's easier. They're all stored away, you know, hidden. Next thing I picked up was a table um, and chairs. This is from Ikea but I bought it off Amazon. Ikea have a delivery charge so obviously yeah, I thought why not look at Amazon and that's where I found it and it's the LAT, L-A-T-T, -T, um, table and chairs, which I think it's, I'll try to insert a picture of what it looks like, but it's white and, um, what do you call that wooden look? The light wood, yeah, that one, anyway. Next thing I picked up was this. Now. My son is having difficulties right now with his reading um, and other things, but um, I'm trying my hardest to get everything I could possibly try to find for um, him to have some help with his reading. And yeah, I picked up this. Now this is from four to eight year olds. Now, which is where I would say his level is at the moment and he is six coming up to seven and it helps with early reading read and write read on your own learn through reading as well and it comes with all 10 reading books so 10 reading books there which i thought was good and yeah it just sounds out the words and reads sentences build skills with fun interactive stories can you hear them screaming wow that's that's the thing mum's put up with <laughs> but yeah listen on the go with audio books and yeah i just thought this was really good it'd be a fun way for him to get interested with the pen thing i think it'll be more help it would help him more concentrate concentrate more on the reading itself um just using the pen as well at the same time because he he is very active. Then I picked up um, this little set. Now this set was from Amazon. I just thought it was a cute little set. They love helping me with the cleaning. Um, they love helping out and being told what to do, like told little tasks to do around the house and things like that. So I thought this was quite fun. So then when they have to clean their room, they can use this. Um, which, yeah, I think they'll be quite happy about. Um, then from Asda, which I thought was quite cool, was I picked up this little thing. And it's you basically match magical mermaids to their tails in this simple colour and matching game. Um, yeah, and it's from age three to six, which obviously this one's for my little girl. Um, but I thought that was quite cool. Like, 
they've never, they've, well, they've never really been interested in puzzles, but I think this is a little bit different. I did like have cards like these when I was younger and I really enjoyed these, so hopefully they will too. And this one is Pair Up Jolly Sea Creatures in this fun matching game, but watch out for the sneaky sharks. So, yeah. There's also like how to play here. Um, so obviously they tell you set rules as well, but I doubt they'll probably have the set rules going, but three to six as well on that one. They were only cheap as well from, was they from, no, they were from Sainsbury's. Or Tesco's? No, yes, they were from Tesco's. I've got a Tesco's bag and I did not guess that. Wow. Then I picked up these. Now, I am a little bit disappointed in these, actually, because I picked these up. Um, I can't remember the price now. Have I got the receipt in here? No. I can't remember the price now, but I know it was more than 50p. And I see on Facebook bargain page the other day that... In Sainsbury's, I think in Sainsbury's, these are selling for 50p at the moment. So yeah, I would definitely go and grab one if you're going to think about grabbing an electric toothbrush. But I picked up one for my little girl and then another one for my little boy as well. You can't really see because of the lighting. Yeah, and that's a minion one. And the other one was a Barbie one as well. Um, uh, then I picked up this game, it's called Pull My Finger, and you pull his finger and he farts, which my kids will find that extremely hilarious. Um, yeah, they're always talking about poo and things like that. <laughs> I don't know what fascinates kids about poo, but for some reason, it's a fascinating for ages four plus, but my daughter's quite into everything that my son's into anyway. Um, she's quite a little, oh, she's she's a bit of both really. She's a blimmin' drama queen and she's a tomboy too. Uh, and you spin the little, the little thing here and you pull his finger and his butt his bum inflates and then it explodes um, on whoever pulled obviously you pull his finger a certain amount of times and then whoever makes him fart I suppose loses then I went and picked up these from um, Smith's now these are the baby alive's and the twin sets now my son has went mad whenever I've got her for a birthday or Christmas a baby doll he goes mad that he hasn't got one so I thought this was the perfect arrangement actually because there's a little boy baby and a little girl baby and why don't we buy um, boys babies I thought it would be a fun thing for them both to do together and then they can both play with their babies together and you know this one comes with feeding as well so you can feed them both and they've got comes with a little bowl and something to make the food and some nappies as well which i just thought was adorable um this is exactly what it looks like and i picked up some bits from i think it was morrison's some clothes from morrison's just because i thought they were just cute um yeah they're a bit creased now <laughs> but yeah, I picked up this little top here. These were three tops in one. Um, and then you get a plain navy one. And you get the red one. Now these are all long sleeved. And it was only £8.50 for a free pack. Which I think is actually quite good. I also picked up these for my daughter as well. They're just like some little corduroy kind of leggings. Um, I just thought they were adorable, really. I just, oh, I don't know why, but at the moment, I'm just obsessing. Oh, I went really bright. Um, yeah, I'm just obsessing with corduroy at the moment. Then, for my son, now he picked this out. 
Um, he is obsessed, as I've said in other videos, um, obsessed with Minecraft. And yeah, what can I say? I had to get it. It was £10 and you get the trousers too. They're just pyjamas. Now this next thing is out of its box because obviously I'm in the I'm in the moment of setting it up. So I picked them up, oh, one of these as well. Nintendo Switch, if you don't know. I just don't want to say it loud, too loud. Um, yes, picked them one up of these. I'm also going to pick up, sorry, the battery just died. I'm also going to pick up the two remotes to go with and some more games as well. This is going to be like a family present. Obviously, I do not trust my children <laughs> with um, the way they handle consoles at the moment and iPads and things like that. I also picked up this game to go with it. I think this is just like a quite quite a good like start off game with them I'm gonna get them the little um, wheels as well I wanted to pick up Zelda personally I want Zelda for me I'm going to be doing a Christmas Eve vlog and a Christmas Day vlog so if you want to see what they got all together for Christmas then you'll have to tune in for that you some of the new pe new bits I picked up um, for their stocking. I didn't get to show you everything the last time I've done it. I did pick up um, some of these. Now these were in Lidl. Um, yes, um, I'm one of those ones that used to get one of these at Christmas and it's just tradition now, isn't it, for me? Um, <laughs> so yeah, I picked up one of these each for my two children. You get one of the little pezzes in there. Pretty sure they were 89 or 99p from Lidl so yeah not even a pound no more I'm pretty sure in in B&M they're either dearer or a pound but yeah and then I picked up two little packets of the Pez sweets as well to go with I then had to go back to Poundland as well and pick up some of these. Now, my kids are in love with jelly beans, so they will absolutely love this in their stocking. Um, yeah. So they were a pound each, and then. Oh, you'll never. Oh my dear lord. I've just realised he's broken. <laughs> what am I gonna do with a broken elf? <laughs> and then I picked up. Oh. One of these, I think I picked these up from Lidl as well. I'm not too sure. No, Pound Shop. I picked these up from Poundland. Um, yeah, they're just a little gold coin. It says, you made Santa's good list on it with a little elf printed on it. So I got one of them each for the stockings. I think that's it for the stockings. Now I think I've got other bits. For the Christmas Eve boxes. I'm just thinking whether I should. Right, you know what? I'm gonna turn off the camera for one second and go get them so I can show you. Do you know what? I'm out of breath. Is just this little millions cookies. I thought this was gonna be a fun thing for us to do, like cooking some cookies for Santa on Christmas Eve and leave them on the Santa plate. Um, these were only a pound as well from Pound Shop, Poundland keep calling it pound shop poundland so yeah and it's just a cookie mix strawberry millions and it makes eight to ten cookies which is quite a lot um what do you need for it so you only need 70 grams of softened room temperature butter and then i'm not too sure whether i showed you this but i picked up a little gingerbread man's bakery book um I just think uh, I always get them a Christmas little book to read on Christmas um, Christmas Eve, yes. Uh, I just thought this was all fun looking and things like that, like the little elf in the oven, just adorable. And it was only a pound from Poundland, so I can't find it for the absolute life of me. 
I know it was here somewhere, but I don't know where I put it. You see when you put things down somewhere and you think, yeah, they'll be safe there. And they're so safe there that you don't remember where you put them. That's happened. So I'm just gonna tell you about it. Um, there's this little book you can get at the moment from Poundland and it has a little envelope inside the front page and you can write your own letter to Santa with the book and the story is about writing your letter to Santa and asking about what you want and things like that so yeah I think it's a good buy for any parent anywhere at the moment and it's only a pound so yeah that is the end of the video i hope you all enjoy it please do join me for christmas eve vlog and a christmas day vlog i love christmas and christmas eve it's like the best day ever hopefully you enjoyed this video please give it a like and a share if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you like to see more or if you're wanting to see my christmas eve or christmas day vlog i will have other videos in front of that i hope you're all okay i hope you all have a wonderful christmas and yeah please let me know down in the comment section below what you've picked up for your kids i would love to know and yeah have a lovely day a lovely evening um and good night or goodbye <laughs> um but yeah thank you for watching bye